for joining us tonight. Hello, Mike, Jesse, Sky, Jaquita, Mora. Who else is here? Um, who do, who do Jesse. we miss? Did you say Jesse? I said Jesse. Hello, okay. Jesse. And Hello. all everybody else. Everybody else that we might not have seen. We, we don't Thank you for being everybody. here. Thank you for being here. Okay, listen, I'm gonna put it out there. Today was a crazy Monday. It was a Monday. It was a Monday. Was, I spent my and whole day with the my face in an industrial oven. I blinked and it was like already 3.30 in the afternoon, right? Like uh, I didn't check my phone and Gretchen uh, texted me at four. She's like, hey, I was supposed to go to the pet store. I got covered in chocolate. I'm just I going to go had, home. We had, a, we, had a, we had a thing. So anybody who works in an industrial kitchen, I'm going to be totally honest with what I did today. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> Please, y'all, you didn't tell me this. Yeah, I want to hear the. How did you get covered in chocolate? Okay, so what happened was, I had just scooped um, chocolate cake batter because we we use like a big ice cream scoop to to weigh out for your layers yeah, of cake, right? Of so I'm over here scooping and scooping and scooping, and I was doing chocolate. So then I was switching flavors. So I've got my chocolate scoop. So I have to go wash it and sanitize it so I can go to another flavor. 
So I go to the sink, and I didn't think about the direction the scoop was facing. So so it hit the bowl facing. It had bowl facing up, and, and you I hit it with that power washer. Full power <laughs> spray, and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, ah, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> a lot of beeps, I'm beep. sure, right? Son of a beep, beep. Lexi, hello, John. Thank you for joining us. Lexi, John. So, you guys, uh, Gretchen, qu quickly look up John's um, uh, Instagram stuff. Oh, oh. So, our friend John is an incredible short filmmaker. He makes like these these scary like horror. Uh, John, I want to tag your short film thing. Be able yes. to help me. Yes. Uh, it, it, Misfits it, of Cinema. Misfits of Cinema yes. on Instagram. Go follow Misfits of Cinema. John Duarte makes really amazing short films, and he's a funny, talented dude. I love John. Yes. He is part of my Creepy Kingdom family, and uh, he's one of those people we got to see when we make it out. Yeah, to so yes. go follow that Instagram, and then click the links, because he's got short films in yes. his links. And you can go watch them, so, and oh my god, out for delivery, out for delivery. freaking yes, amazing! Yes, that's the newest one, and he's got a new one coming out soon. So, go absolutely, see John Duarte. Seriously, yes, and he's super cute too. So, there's that. But I like cute boys. Uh, so yeah, how many different pairs of glasses does Tim own? Um, uh, six, 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 or, six or, or seven, six something or like that. Yeah, yeah. I I've, I've got, I've got the same pair in pretty much every color. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Behind me is, yes, this is actually Tim's art. This is the terror that flaps in the night. The guy, the guy that flaps in the night, yes. He is the terror that quacks in the night. That's him. Darkwing Duck. This Sammy is my favorite because it. it's all purple. Thank you. Sammy! Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Sammy is getting ready to go on a trip, so she's doing yes. a lot of uh, that's her a, last that's minute That's a running. stressful thing. Yeah. I get it. Oh, John. You're adorable. We love you. Yes. We see him on Weekly Creepy every oh, Sunday. So, okay. um, yeah. So, today today was a Monday for oh. sure. And I'm, I'm literally working for the weekend right now. Like, I'm working till Thursday. It's for Monday. So, we've got big things coming up this weekend. Yes. So, I'm working. I'm just trying to get through this week so that I can finally get to Tampa Bay Comic Con this weekend. I'm so hyped for it. I'm so excited. It's my first time uh, uh, tabling at a big convention. Yeah, we um, had a practice convention. We, now you know, we take we're ready to take the training wheels off and go to the big boy convention. Suncoast Comic Con was still was a decent so sized convention, but it was it was not anything compared to the next couple of conventions that I'm at. So uh, it was definitely a, a good like you said training wheels had the training yeah. wheels on that one. Yeah, but, it was a training wheels. But con. the next this couple is... ones are going to be super cool. Yes. So if you're in the Tampa Bay area this weekend, come out to the con. I made some new stuff. You want to see my new yes. stuff? Yes. Oh, I'm so you guys. Can I show my new I am, stuff? When she came out with these, when she came out and okay. showed me these I'm the so other excited. day, I was hyped. I was so hyped because they look so good. I'm so excited. Okay, yes. so you might have to help me because I got yeah. T-Rex arms. Look so at I was inspired by some like kind of galaxy look. Does the camera pick up the sparkles? I don't it think kinda, it's picks. It kind of glitters in there. there oh, there it, it is. goes. It's got it's got glitter all in the black, all over the cup. Yeah, and so I w I did red and orange, and then I was feeling like the Halloween vibe, which I mean I'm, I'm at, all about how, Sam right now. Look so how smooth that oh is. look, it's big Sam and little Sam. Oh, yeah. oh they're so cute. I like this though that you, that you did here with the glitter there. Yeah, this like glitter ombre. This is actually my cup. This yeah. is a practice it's kind of a test one, cup. And I love it yeah. So, much. so anyway, I did that one, and then I got inspired to do another one um, with your Miles Morales. Yes. So those are going to be available at Tampa Bay Comic Con, guys. This one has, yeah, this one kind of this has glitter too. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, all the way around it though. It get, yeah, I was feeling like concrete. You know how Spider Man and he's in the yes. city and stuff. So yeah, anyway, yeah. So these are going to be some of the ones that are available. These are all one of a kind, handmade um, by me, stainless steel tumblers. So oh. So cute. Oh, we were adorable. Yeah, just no, 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 so right? Cute? Yeah, the tongue. I mean, she is, she is, just surprising me so much with the. She, how long have you been doing it? Like two weeks, three weeks, couple weeks, couple weeks. Yeah. And it's already like, it just blows my mind. I'm so excited for, for it. I, I, they're a lot of fun to make, and 
I, I, I'm enjoying using the medium. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never used resin before, so that was a new thing for me. Yeah. But um, I'm enjoying the medium. And, you know, I got inspired when we did go to the Suncoast Comic Con because it felt that, like... There was a lack of things. You were, you were trying to fill a hole for things that you didn't see. Well, I was looking around and I was seeing this stuff and I was looking at our stuff and I was like, man, we've got the neatest stuff, but we need more stuff. Like, we need to have buttons and we need to have like like i don't know stuff we need stuff tim stickers and stuff so she, she did kind of steal my artwork without asking and so, so. <laughs> i have been waiting for an excuse like i knew about these cups because our cousin dave actually gave me one for my birthday yeah. so i knew they existed and i thought oh god these are so cool i would love to do these but i don't need another freaking hobby i got all of the hobbies yeah, in the world the i mean good god so I don't even have time to watch TV now because my hobbies are so much. So it's like, okay. Um, but when I went to the con with Tim, I started seeing these things and nobody had these. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make these cups and we're going to put your artwork on it. So I need you to make this artwork so I could put it on these cups. How do I do that? Do I need a printer? <laughs> that's right. exactly what that's happened. That's exactly so. what happened. <laughs> so thank you. I'm glad you like them. I've only been doing them a couple weeks, but I'm happy with how they go. It's a fun medium to work yeah. on. Yeah. Um, you know, we're trying to get outside of just selling the art prints. Because Gretchen did make me recognize that I'm I'm selling wall space to people. And sometimes sometimes it's a it's a um uh, a commodity that not a lot of people have sparing. Right. Not everybody so, likes to live in a collage. So I have so other things that you can like put on frames as well. Tabletop I've got, pieces. I've got some acrylic acrylic pieces here. I love that. Your stormtrooper pieces are so cool. It's the stormtrooper. Yes. Uh, we got we got Kylo. Yeah. We've got. Um, oh, I love this one too. We got the good old Vader, right there. But then I've also got a few canvas pieces as These well. These are fun. These I've are got, fun I've, for like a kid's room, I I've think. Got, yeah, for a kid's room, exactly. This or one. our room because we're grown adults and we do this because there you go. we can. Got, the, got all four turtles there. This on, gives on the me Warhol vibes. Well, that was the intent, actually, yes. originally. That was kind of the intent. Oh, let's see. You were so bad at theme songs. Like, but at least you got that one right. She tried singing the Thundercats one the other day and was just like. It was the perfect rendition of Thundercats. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, I digress. I, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, actually, going to commission a piece of art from. Tim. Yeah. Uh, let us yeah. Know. Let us know. Seriously. Um, uh, no, not painted. These are, well, I mean, they are the prints that I made personally, but they've been transferred onto canvas. Yeah, that's how those get made. Um, we have tchotchkes. Tchotchkes. Yes, yes. we've got some tchotchkes. You know, tchotchkes. If, if, if I had a 3D printer, I would be, I would be making maybe, tchotchkes maybe left and right. Maybe one day, maybe yeah. one day I'll let you get a 3D printer. I just right. know that that is a dangerous thing to have because I would have this way too much fun. This is a great compliment. Fun. Thank you, Mike. I really, that oh, means a lot you. to me. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh, that is me in the field. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Rachel. Thanks for joining us. You came just in time. We're about to get into, into some something. stuff here. Gretchen just got a present literally like 20 minutes before we turned the camera on today. So you guys know my friend Anne. She's been on our videos. I don't think she's here right now, but she's usually on our Monday yeah. night live streams. And you're going to be all mad when you realize you missed this. So she is starting the home base business. And she is making phone grips. Yes. So she made me and you a phone grip. Oh, I didn't realize I had one. I think. I don't know. I'm going to guess. I think it's just Yes, you. yes. One of these is yours. Oh, really? Oh, my God. You're going to be so excited. Oh, my God. Oh, oh see, my God. I am excited because I oh thought my it was God. just yours. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here she is. Here she is. Okay. okay. I haven't even looked yet. And you are right in time. I didn't know I had one. I'm I'm pretty excited now. And, and. So, Anne's Room of Requirement. If you want something like this, go check her out. She is awesome. And um, my next door neighbor. And I That's love not her. a misspelling. It's A-N-H, yes. by the way. She's my Vietnamese diva, and I love her. Yes. Okay. You guys have seen oh, her. No. You know okay. we're like besties. So, 
I'm going to look at mine first, but then I'll let you okay. look at yours. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So okay. these are phone grips. So they're going to go How do you know on which my one's yours? I can tell because okay. I, I saw them when I opened okay. them. So I'm, I'm so excited for him okay. right now. I can't even. So let me look at mine. Oh, yes. It's zero. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. So these are really cool. They're kind of like the pop socket. So it's got a little double stick tape and you put it on the back of your phone. Like after, after tonight, I'm going to pop this thing off and I'm going to put that on and then you can hold your phone. It, it comes out so Very you can cool. like put your fingers in it and you yeah. can hold your phone. So, Ooh. but you've got one. She made one for you too. So this, I uh, thank you, Anne. I love it. And it's going on my phone right after I'm putting it on. I love it. But okay. Tim, you're about to lose. So your legit, mind. this is the back of my phone case and this was like a stand and it broke off. Yeah. So I don't have one anymore. You're so about to lose I'm, your mind. I'm pretty high. You are about to lose your freaking okay. mind. Okay. okay. All right. Ready? Go okay. ahead. Hold on. Should I yes. show the screen first? Yeah, show the okay. screen first. All right. Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. On my red case, no less. These are awesome. Yes. And, oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I know. Thank you so much. I I'm I am just taken away. Oh, thank you, Rachel, so for cute. posting the link. There you guys thank go. Thank you, Rachel. So here, let me put it in a little bag so yes. you don't lose it. And then thank afterwards you. tonight, after we talk to every all our friends, we will put these on our phones. Yes. Oh. Awesome. And everybody Thank knows you. I love Zero so much. So you know, that perfect. legit made my day. Like, I'm, I'm not joking when I he said today day. Today was a, was a Monday for sure. Thank you so much. That, that really made my day. Uh, all right. All right. I okay. think everybody's ready. Okay. I think we're everybody's up, ready. We're all so ready. we don't know what where we're going. Yeah. We don't know what this is. We just know this is from our country. So, right. So once again, being behind on the boxes, this one showed up like the day after we opened the last one. Yeah. It? Yeah. So, and we didn't, once again, we like to surprise ourselves. So we don't know where this one is from. Don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. And check it out. Follow up. The I found, found the scissors. scissors. Man, I'm glad I didn't go out and invest to, another dollar. I had that to clean the so comic mad. book room. Yeah. And they were, <laughs> in the, they were in the comic book room just sitting on a table. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Okay, let's see where we're going. All right. Greece! Oh, going, that's going exciting! To Greece. I don't know that I've ever had Greek stuff. So I've had Greek food. So last time it Is was. Is there baklava on this box? Last time it was uh, from Turkey. And afterwards we went through and filled everything out here and posted it on our Instagram yes. and Facebook page. So we'll do that again. We'll do that again yeah. as well. But um, we won't do it while we're going through the things. We like to deliberate later on. Yes. And you know what I love about this Universal Yums box is it gives you like information about. See, that's cool. Greece. That's what I loved about the local box as well. It gave us all that information about Denver, Colorado that I never knew. Yes. How cool is that? Explore Greece, fun facts. I love Greek food. I do. Oh, look, we've got trivia. What did the world's first vending machine dispense? What did the world's first vending machine dispense? Was it A, holy water, <laughs> B, philosophy books, C, silverware, or D, Pepsi? I'm going to say, I'm going to, it's Greece, right? Yeah. Greece is big on knowledge. And like, they are. They're like the founders of knowledge. Of philosophy. I'm going to say, you know what? I know it's probably stupid, but <laughs> I'm going to say philosophy books. Many philosophy books. What, is that the answer? No, I'm asking oh. <laughs> you. I am confirming with you that's your answer. Yes, yes. You are incorrect. Okay. Back in the first century AD, engineers of Heron of Alexandria created the world's first vending machine for a divine purpose. Holy dispensing water? Dispensing holy water for temple What? Coolers. 
A coin inserted to the top would drop into a bar inside the vase, allowing holy water to flow. My brother called it. For locals at the time, these vending machines were a miracle and priests looking for an easier way to collect donations. They were a godsend. My brother called it. He was right there. Good on you, Randy. Seriously. Well, aren't you a smart cookie, Randy? All right. Give me another one, though. That, oh, that was oh, fun. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Pick a number, two through eight. Pick a number, two through eight. Yeah, because we just read number one. Oh, seven. Seven. Okay. What did the Oracle of Delphi do to make prophecies? A, play a song with Apollo's lyre. Lear. Lear. B, eat 15 pomegranate seeds. C, breathe the fumes from the ground. Or D, put ointment, put on ointment made from bees. Uh, I'm going to say it's either C or D. C um, or D. So you say breathe fumes from the ground? Breathe fumes or, or put, put on, on an ointment. ointment made from bees? I'm going to say, <laughs> I want you guys to answer first. You guys answer first. I'm saying D. But you guys, if you feel like answering, let me know what you you think. Give me, give me the options again, Ben. Um, what did the Oracle of Delphi use to make prophecies? A, a song. Play a song with Apollo's lyre. B, eat 15 pomegranate seeds. C, breathe the fumes from the ground. Or D, put on, put on ointment from that is made from bees. Words are hard. Yeah, we got, we got, uh. B ointment. Put on got, some B ointment. Got options everywhere. We got D, a couple Bs, C, yeah, D. I'm, I'm going to say. This looks like my report card from school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say D. I'm going to say D. D. So you think it's put on, on ointment, ointment made from bees. That seems like what they did at the time. Right. Okay. So here we are. Number seven. C. The Oracle of Delphi is known for her future seeing insights, was sought after by peasants and rulers alike for supernatural abilities. So how did she make her prophecies? One theory is that the Oracle sat above a shim of the earth and breathed in any escaping fumes, which helped produce visions Okay. Sounds wild, but it might be true. 21st century geologists found that two faults below the temple plus evidence of hallucinogenic gases Holy crap. rising from a nearby spring. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. She was tripping oh, balls. Enjoy the pretty colors, Whoa. Delphi. I bet you did see some stuff. <laughs> so pomegranates did cross my mind, but 15 seeds, like that's I feel like that could be somewhat is that poisonous? I don't think so. I don't. I think that's just. It's not that much. It's like a teaspoon. They're not very big. Okay. That's fun. That's fun. That was good. Oh my gosh. And then and then we're talking about our foods. Okay. So, okay. Okay. And we got the sweet sticker. Okay, I dig the sticker. It gives me Hercules vibes. Ah, uh, I discovered the Golden Fleece Feast. That's golden awesome. Feast, this feast. is the Golden Fleece golden feast. feast. I love it. Oh man, there's lots of bags of stuff. Okay, we get excited. Mm. We get excited. Snacks are always exciting. Okay. Yes, yes, and that's that's what they were trying to say. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that's precisely what 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 that means. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, what's the first thing you picked? Okay, waves, tomato and paprika chips. So they look like lays. But they're waves. They look like uh, ruffle lays. But they're not. But they're, they're waves. waves. Toddies or toadies? Toddies? Toddies. Totties. I bet you it's like totties. Okay. Because yeah, I don't know why I did this, but you know I what? felt like it's, it felt it, natural. It's tomato, but it can't be worse than the ketchup. Oh, yeah. It can't be worse than the ketchup. I was I was not. I didn't mind the ketchup. I liked it. It was a acquired taste. It took some practice. I feel like uh, the, the ketchup chips that everybody is like hype on, though, are not the ones that we got. You okay, know. well, you know, one day when we actually set foot in a grocery store, we'll be able to tell you that. Sure. I'll do that. All okay. right, what you got? Ready? What is this again? What am I um, expecting? Tomato and paprika. I, I like both of those things. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's a unique flavor. It is not a flavor that I think I've ever had on a chip. It's got like, I don't kind know. of like basic barbecue chip flavor, but less smoky. I don't think I've ever had paprika on a chip. Maybe that's what it is. I mean, I'm not mad at these. They need that's, a good dip. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Mike. That's what I'm saying. Tomato flavor. 
is not what the ketchup flavor was. I Listen, can say that, you know, when I was younger, I loved ketchup, but I didn't like tomatoes. Everybody knows, everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say it tasted like McDonald's ketchup. Oh, that's exactly what that tastes like. McDonald's everybody ketchup knows what I'm talking and about. And McDonald's french fries. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I will snack on those later. I like those. Yeah. Waves of tomato and paprika. Yeah. I like that. Okay. That so was good. I'm, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna okay, reach I'm gonna reach. Oh, under you're things. digging in the box. Yeah, okay. reaching under things. Okay. Woo! What do we got here? You just picked the big box because they look like candy. Almond shortbread. Those look good. I, I how how did I pick it because it looked like candy when I wasn't even looking at the box? I just made that up. Those words just can't. Sometimes right. I'm just as surprised as you are. This this is actually a fancy box. Can you see the texturing these, these on it? These are like boxes when we try to do like party trays and platters for yeah. guests and stuff and you go out and you buy the nice stuff. This is what you buy. This isn't like I'm having a rough this day is, and I just want to watch Star Wars. This looks like the binging. stuff that you buy when you're trying to impress your bougie friends. Uh-huh. Like, you got the bougie I've friends coming I've got almond shortcakes if you want some. <laughs> They're like, oh, I got tater tots in the freezer. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? All right. We've got four they of them here. They look messy. Yeah, they're cut. They're uh, let's see if I can get them here. They're covered in powdered sugar. Oh, like. great! Like the little bitty donuts. Yeah, oh, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, there you go. You go ahead and open oh, it carefully. Lord. Carefully. This is a bad idea. Oh God. Oh God. I don't want to look like I've been snorting anything. I know, right? Okay, I'm gonna open it over the I'm flap of this more box. Of these chips, though. Oh, this is complicated. See, I love shortbread too. I do, but, but these look messy as but these heck. Look, these look like a disaster. Oh my god. Pinky's out. Pinky's out. out. Wait, I don't want to do this. And... Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. Well, I'm glad you're doing it over the box. Well, that's what's my thought here. Okay, hold on. Okay. There's one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, look at how thick that tray is. Look at how thick this tray is full of powdered sugar. Do you just want to share it or it's, do you want it's, your own? It's like that full of powdered sugar. You can't tell because I'm not going to hold it over my computer. Hold on. I got napkins here. Let's see. Here you go, baby. Get one of these for me. I just oh, wanted to. Oh, okay. Look at all the powdered sugar <laughs> in there. It's ridiculous. Okay. Hold on. So here's yours. All right. Hold on. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you're going to, you can't bite into this. You got to put the whole thing in your mouth. Well, at least I do anyway. I was going to break it in half and put half in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Every time she uses the scissors, I, I, might I, I have to go like this to get away from Look, her. Look, you are in the splash zone, so you just deal. Powdered sugar used yes. for packaging material. Yikes. These better be friggin' delicious. You're going to break yours in half? You're going to put it all in your mouth? It's all going in my mouth. It smells good. Okay. Do you want, I don't know if I can do that. Do you, you have a big mouth. I know you can <laughs> put it in there. Okay. Here right, we go. Ready? Oh, the whole thing? Yep. Oh, Lord, this is huge. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. It literally sucked all the moisture out of my mouth. That was a terrible idea. Why did you do that? <laughs> but it was tasty, Dad. It was really good. But but I had to uh, let the liquid break down the material so that I could, like, function. They, like, swelled up in the mouth. Like, they just filled. It was like spray like that foam spray insulation stuff like you mm. put it in your mouth like <laughs> yikes mm. and there's nuts in it do some kingdom hearts like the video game kingdom hearts any chance you could do some kingdom hearts or uh, maybe is that Ant? no it's mm. this jabber we could do kingdom hearts i don't i mean i we don't we don't have the game i don't know um what do you want us to do to it play chubby bunny that it's the only one I can fit in my mouth, seriously, because it absorbs so much liquid that it like swole. Didn't it like swell up in your it mouth? It did. It like 
It was like spray insulation. I I I had to just kind of. So the, <laughs> I was trying not to cough because everybody I see do the cinnamon challenge, where it absorbs the liquid or out of their mouth. They end mm -hmm. up like coughing everywhere. Uh, oh man, that was a that was an interesting <laughs> sensation to do. <laughs> I'm still feeling it like back here, like the powder sugar. This was a mess. Like it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot. Okay. Oh gosh. All right. Let's try something else. Mm -hmm. There was a lot going on there. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, you go ahead and pick the next thing. I picked that mistake. Yeah. Grape must soft cookie. Grape must. Grape must. That doesn't that like, sound appetizing that, at that all. Sounds, that sounds disgusting, actually. Grape must. Now, normally, I am a fan of all things this purple is a, flavors. This is a thick piece, by the way. This is not a thin little cookie. This is a thick piece. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, is, is, is he asking, is this Jabbers asking if you would do a Kingdom Hearts picture with your TV artworks? Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, give me a I, We're sorry. Yeah. We were already off of the bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, I, I love Kingdom Hearts. I know yes. all about Kingdom he Hearts. He is open to I have, commissions. I have a couple Kingdom Hearts Chippendales in the other room. What the hell is this thing? Is this like a bagel? Is it, what's it, What's the texture? Weird. Here. It's like oh. foam. This, this is like a mush. It's like a... It's like a chew, it's like a cookie, like overbaked bread. Okay. Like a banana nut bread texture, maybe. Oh. Like a dry. It it actually kind of smells like a uh, ginger snap. No, it does not smell oh. like a ginger snap. No, I'm sorry, I caught it differently. It smells like a blueberry bagel. I don't want to eat this. You're gonna eat it, but yes, Diz Jabber, uh, Christian, hit me up, dude, anytime. Seriously. This smells like dog food. It does. Now, what are you smelling? This smells like a box of it's just, kibbles and It's bits. just cake. It's just a piece of, uh, a soft piece of cake. But it has like that soft gingerbread this cookie This smells texture. like high-heeled old lady booty. I don't know what you're talking about. But you're going to take a bite. Okay, fine. You ready? Yes. All right. It's pretty good. What? What? What do you have? What is in your hand? Are we eating from the same cookie? You don't want it. I'll eat it. Is it that is atrocious. I don't know what you're talking about. That is offensive. What? Um, naturally. It's hanging out behind my teeth. I mean, it won't go away. That's for sure. That's, that's not a lie. It won't go away. That'll put some meat on your bones. Hmm. I'm gonna be eating that for three days. Um, I mean, it says, I'm sorry. A baked good should not like adhere itself to your teeth. It's not grape, like grape. No. Gra I don't know what grape, you know, what grape must. That definitely is not into. purple flavored. Yeah, I don't know what it translates into. That's but, like uh, grape from Munda. <laughs> That's my gift to you. <laughs> Mmm. But once again, I can't get it to rinse out. Once of my again, mouth. it really sucks the moisture out of your mouth. I do not like that weird bagel. All right, so far grease is questionable. Um, I don't know. That's pretty good, but half of it. <clears throat> God, it keeps everything keeps like drying out my mouth. Okay, let's try something else. Man. They should have. They told really us. like their dry foods, man. They you know, is it like is it like a desert town where they gotta keep all their like what part of Greece is this not from the See now we have to look it up. Like, is it a thing? Grape must? That sounds terrible. It sounds disgusting. That's not but if there was a clone that smelled half as good as this actually tasted, I'd be okay with it. Okay, that. these are the Tatis. Again, so they made the chips. Same same, same, same brand. But these are garlic bagel chips. These got to be safe, right? They can't be total terrible, right? Like, how bad can these? Oh, they're so freaking cute. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting one the size of that. It's, it's, <laughs> they're so cute. Who makes bagels this little? 
but it is like little bread chips. Okay, these can't be terrible, right? Yeah. I mean, they're cute. Cute things can't taste bad. Uh, do you remember the fermented cherry that we ate that oh, one time? Other than that. Okay. Ready? Uh, yep. Okay, you're <laughs> yummy. I will say, following this up, I mean, following this up with this, not a great combo, but <laughs> but the flavor is good. It's a garlic. It's a garlic um, bagel chip. It's like um those Elise breadsticks. Yeah, you know them to the little skinny ones, the crunchy ones. I like these. Great musk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If that sounds any better. <laughs> <laughs> great musk. What? Half flavor. <laughs> These are yummy. These would be good with the salad. Not actual size. Does it say anywhere with a little asterisk that says not actual size? That would be hilarious. No, it just says that they oven baked it with sunflower oil and they use no flavor enhancer. Oh. Well, when does garlic actually need a flavor enhancer? You know? That's a lie because there's salt in here and salt it's is a flavor enhancer. <laughs> Natural flavor enhancer. Yes, yes. Those are good. No. Okay, I get to pick this time. I like those. Those are good. Okay. But not this one because this is the yum bag. Okay. That's always got some <laughs> sort of damn train rack in it. I forgot about that. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay. We'll save the yum bag for last. Okay. <clears throat> there's there's a lot in this box. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's got to be delicious. Uh, milk chocolate wafer. with. It looks like a Kit Kat almost. That looks amazing. Mm hmm I'm excited for that. Serenata. It's it's like it's wafer. So like, uh maybe like a a nutter butter, but no peanut butter. Like what do they call those? Nutty bars. Nutty oh, bars. Oh nutty bars are not allowed in my house. I love them too much. Oh, they look pretty. Yeah. It's just one. Oh, yeah, it's just one. Okay. So it's a little wafer cookie. Got a little zigzag on it. It smells good. Yeah. Oh, it does smell good. Little... It smells like Easter chocolate. Yeah. That smell of like foil that, it's, chocolate. It, it's it's that wax. It's that waxy chocolate that, that would paraffin be paraffin in the chocolate. That paraffin chocolate that would be like on chocolate covered donuts. You know, those little I tiny love that ones. Stuff. Yeah. I love that stuff. I don't care. Yeah. It's delicious. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. All right, Mister. Cheers. I'm sorry. We'll there we go. We'll do it again. Hmm. Yeah. This is yummy. It's exactly what you think it would be. This is like something that would come in like your Swiss colony box right. or your Harry and David box. Yeah. Like a cute little crunchy. crunchy James. Thing. Thanks James. for showing up, James. Hello, James sir. James is the captain of Creepy Kingdom and we love him to death. Sweet She-Ra t-shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I watched the new He-Man, um, the Kevin Smith He-Man. Did you watch it? She's not allowed to have them, Sammy. Like... She's not allowed to have them. She I do, I have forbade myself from having. So them. there's a thing of where we're not allowed to have Reese's peanut butter cups in the house for the same reason. I can't be trusted with them. I ate a whole box in like three hours yes. one time, and that was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I can't. It's a bad idea. Did anybody watch the new He-Man? By the way, the that's new, what I was talking about. The new, I'm sorry, Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Re Universe Revelation. Yeah. Yeah. I, I loved it, and I hope you did too. It was a love letter to fans of He-Man. I want to emphasize that it's called Masters of the Universe, not He-Man. Yeah, that's true. So let, if you haven't watched it, let that sink in. It's called Masters of the Universe, not He-Man and Masters of the Universe, okay? It's so, very good. So maybe you'll have a better understanding. And There's a lot of hate for it out there, which I don't understand. I don't understand that at but all. I thought it was phenomenal. I We were going to watch one episode, and we sat here for the <laughs> watched, rest of the night and watched the whole damn thing. Well, it's it, the season's released in two parts. So the first five episodes came out, and we watched it you know, that night, that Friday night when I got home. Yep. So Let's say no more. Yeah. Let's say no okay. more. When you do watch it, let us know what you think about it. If you watch it here in the videos, let us know in the comments below what you yes. think of it. Yeah, you're right, James. You're right. You're on the right track. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Mike, I don't know if you were here when Gretchen bought that, bought the different flavors, uh, the different peanut butters, From the, the keto American peanut butters. Butter company. Those didn't last a week, by the way. She bought four jars, and I every day when I came home from work, I just had a spoon in the jar. Just had a spoonful, and they were gone. In a week. <laughs> yeah, all four. I'm, I 
I know it's sad to say all four jars gone in a week. Yes. So guys, even, I also though, gained even pounds, though we live so. very strict keto lifestyle, there are treats and we do have snack accidents. Mm. They just mm. happen to be uh, fancy peanut butter yeah. and not Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. So there's not a whole lot of difference there. Right. So yeah. we, are not, we are not good people. We, <laughs> <laughs> all right. What are you going to do right. for us? I want to do another chip thing. Oh, okay. These are corn puffs. Corn puffs with peanuts and hazelnuts. Oh, interesting. These look delicious. Okay. So I want to try these, and then maybe that disgusting grape musk will get out of my mouth. It's still in there. It's it lives there. Now. You're gonna have another bite. It lives there rent free. Oh, they're cute. Okay. <clears throat> they remind me of cheese balls. I used to eat these little cheese balls as a kid. Oh, they don't. Yeah, they don't smell like corn puffs. They they have that more of a hazelnut smell. Well, it's because they're they're um, sweet, not savory, like yeah. the cheese it cheetah balls ones we're used to. But yeah, they they look like almost like tater tots. Got a handful of balls. But just super light, puffy corn things. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. I'm gonna eat two at once. All right, cheers. Okay, cheers. Holy mackerel, you're delicious. They need to be sweeter though. Just a little bit. You don't love these? That is disgusting. What are you talking about? Where's the... They taste like peanut butter toast. They don't. They don't, though. They are friggin' delicious. Let me try one more. You obviously didn't try it right. Here, hold on. Try this one. This one is better. No. This one's better. Try this no. one. This will be better. This will make the flavor happen. Look, I'll do it with you. Cheers. No, it still sucks. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to make you do that. It's awful. I like them. I think they're really yummy. They're they're not super sweet, and they could be sweeter, but I enjoy the. They're like a salty peanut butter crunchy <laughs> thing. <laughs> I like that reference. That's a good reference. By the way, new Ghostbusters trailer drops tomorrow. Yes. Yes. I love the Ghostbusters. Heck yeah. Um, I love them so much. No, those suck. I, you know, those. I like those. I those, will eat them. Those are your. You can have the donuts. That's what I'm saying. You can have the this great, great testicles. This, this was good. I'm going to eat the peanut butter balls. Yeah. Yeah. Those were not tasty. I thought they were really good. It, skeptical was, yeah, I was right to be skeptical. It tasted like trash. You want to try something else? Okay. This is a box of something. Let me uh, cleanse my palate. No doubt. Cleanse the palate. These are traditional Greek handmade prickly pear delight. Prickly pear. Prickly pear delight. I love it. The only time when I've you ever... pick a paw, paw, paw or a prickly, prickly pear, pear and, and you, you pick, pick the, the wrong, wrong paw, paw, well, next the time, time beware. Yes. Anytime we can shout out to Baloo, that makes our life happy. Mm. These are very well protected. Okay, so I don't actually know I've ever had prickly pear. Uh, I, are they red? Well, so I. I like the female Ghostbusters. I like I the female Ghostbusters fair. too in a different way. I don't know. Are they red? What kind of way do you like them? Well, no, just like if if it's probably the same way I like the regular Ghostbusters. <laughs> no, what, <laughs> what I'm saying is like they're not the Ghostbusters that is traditionally known as where this new movie is kicking off. From the traditionally known Ghostbusters, you know what I'm saying? No. So I like them in the in the way that they are. You like them in that movie, yes, as a standalone, not as related a standalone, to anything else in the verse. Thing, yes. Got gotcha. you. You you like them non-canon. It's not. It's not. It's not head canon for me. Okay. Yes. I get it. I respect that, but yes. I liked the movie. I thought it was a fun. It was movie. a good movie. But I'm so excited for this next Ghostbusters yeah, movie. Yeah. I too. love the Ghostbusters. I had a crush on Dan Aykroyd as a kid. I loved him so much. She had a crush on Dan Aykroyd, but a bigger crush on Cartoon Egon. I love the Cartoon Egon. <laughs> that was, that's a weird. That's a, we're not going to go down that path, but that, it gave her feels. Let's just say <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, was it the curly Q hair? It was the curly Q hair and the strong jaw, and he had like thick lips. <laughs> he was. <laughs> okay. He was cute. All right. We're good. I was, I was just, I was a kid. Uh huh. Kids are weird. <clears throat> and I was a really weird child. So, okay. Prickly right. pear, handmade prickly pear shit. Stop. Okay. 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 So, it's very well packaged. 
It has a little oh, holster. Oh my god, more powdered sugar. It might be completely coated in powdered sugar. It has a tray within a tray, so it's fancy. So that <laughs> way you can fancy. open it. Okay. Oh man, this is a mess. Oh god. So far, my favorite thing about Greece is the Euros and Spanakopita at the Greek restaurant down the street because these candies are just yes. terrible. Where's the baklava? Oh my god. Well, there's one more thing and there maybe is baklava. You know okay. what this looks like is it looks like Turkish delight. It looks like wannabe. Well, it's prickly pear delight, not Turkish delight. Okay. It's Greece delight. Oh, you're I one. picked a big piece. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay, I'll pick this one. Okay, got a couple big pieces. I'm like not rocks. holding it close to the camera because they are covered in powdered sugar, but just know that they look like they look like balls. Turkish delight. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, cheers. Cheers. That's a flavor. I had sugar hit me in a weird spot. Okay, now I'm getting past the sugar. Mm -hmm. Now you can actually taste the flavor. That's yummy. It's definitely like the texture of Turkish Delight. It's like a gummy, but it's not stretchy, chewy gummy. It's like that a, powdered sugar just gummed up, like it all, I like like sugar one. does with moisture. It just like, um, what do, what do they call that? Like coagulated. Coagulated. It almost. just it turned into a very viscous material. <clears throat> all right, hold on. No good can come from a prickly pear. No good can come from all this powdered sugar, that's for sure. I am going to be so jacked up for the rest of the day. I'm going to run around the house. I'm going to like, ooh, can we um, can we power wash the, the... Hey, Alex, can we borrow your power washer? I want to go and do the uh, fence next door. Everybody was calling Turkish Delight at the same time. <clears throat> paste. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Yes. It turns into a paste. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I couldn't think of the word paste. Oh, my God. We'll have some more of this. This is yummy, though. Like, I feel like we're just punishing ourselves, but it's it's tasty. I There's a them. lot of sugar there, though. Mm -hmm. I will snack on those later. Let me put them over there. We got one more thing, but I gotta finish chewing it. <laughs> well, drop it off. <laughs> and Anne's gonna be waiting outside after afterwards. See you out front, Anne. Mm -hmm. Coagulated sugar. So good. So tasty. You know what that reminds me of? It hurts my teeth. Actually. When I first became a pastry chef, I made donuts. Which is kind of one of the reasons why I don't really like donuts. Because you spend, you know, she overnights would, making donuts for six months. She would go to work uh, from like midnight to like 6 a.m. making donuts and come home and smell just like grease. Mm, it was terrible. From frying donuts. But anyway, uh, you have to clean the glazer for the glazed donuts machine. And yeah. it's like powdered sugar and water is glazed. And so you would literally have to like chisel it off. But that powdered sugar, when you have it in like a five gallon bucket, it becomes concrete. It's, it's like this real, it's real thick, viscous material. It's volatile. That's what it is. That stuff you eat off that glazed donut is volatile. But damn, it's good. I will eat it any day. I went to work with her one night to hang out overnight. It was like a Friday night, Saturday night, something like that. And so I hung out with her from midnight to 6 a.m kind of helping her make donuts and afterwards she's like well we got to clean all this up i didn't know she gave me the crap jobs to do <laughs> i made him clean the glazing so machine. she made me clean the glazing machine and i literally had a chisel and a mallet chipping the stuff off like it was marble it really wasn't fair because i didn't teach you the secret of filling it with hot water and let it drain out i kind of just let you suffer because it was funny <laughs> are you serious yeah i'm serious that was funny sorry <laughs> You are not mad. Okay. <laughs> I feel lied to. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I feel lied to. I actually do a lot of stuff like that to him growing like because we've been together since we were teenagers. So sometimes I just screw with him for fun and then I wait like 10 years and tell him what happened. <laughs> Whole marriage has been a lie. Whole life is a lie. Babe, but I can make up for it. Okay. I can make up for it with this last thing from Greece. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Baby. You got your baklava! Oh, snap! Yes! Almond baklava. Almond baklava. I love baklava. This, I, I've got to get this <laughs> freaking powdered sugar mess out of here. I can't even. So when it. we first moved down to Florida, um, one of the things that we weren't aware of was 
southern sweet tea like what is basic tea in the south yeah and so we were stopping off at a restaurant on the way down i think it was like perkins we were like the youngest people in the restaurant <laughs> for like 40 years they put a lime in our diet coke and our and, sweet tea tasted like it was gonna rot my and, and i just asked for a tea because usually up in the midwest when you ask for a tea they'll give you just a basic tea and then you add whatever sweetener you want with it no i didn't realize i was getting oh tea flavored sugar water that's exactly what it was. And oh, this, that was is a, this is a mess. Disgusting. This is a mess. What are you doing? Hold on. There's like honey. It leaked everywhere. It's what is this? It's honey because it's baklava. Oh my, oh my God. This is a mess. This is a damn mess. You've leaked honey all over the place. Okay. Okay. I got to tip it out. Holy crap. I'm going to let you hold it and take a bite out of it. Because that is a mess. That's a very sticky mess. I mean, it smells delicious. I mean, I bet it's going to be really good. Okay, go ahead and take a bite. Of it. We don't care in this house. We ship food. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Holy crap. Not as good? Okay. Let me try it. Oh! Right? You can't do it. I it's good. But the texture is very disappointing. You can't chew it. It's like rubber. So it has all the layers, but they're very condensed. So it's like biting through a whole stack of phyllo dough. Like when you get baklava, it's usually got a lot of, like some air between the layers and the layers might be a little crispy. This isn't like that at all, but <clears throat> the flavor is really good. But it's hard to <laughs> You having technical difficulties? I'm trying to get it out of my teeth. Oh man, I forgot the yum yum bag. Mm. Um, yeah, that's a that's a damn mess. That's uh that's more trouble than it's worth, tell you the truth. Yeah. Delicious, tastes fantastic, but. I mean, you'd have better chance chewing through your garden hose. Yeah, that was that was difficult. Okay, guys. Wow. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's a hardcore successful marriage. <laughs> we, we, mm. we, we, God, we have stories we could tell. Mm. Over the time, we will tell you the stories because I've been a horrible person my whole life, guys. You know, I kind of hope, I, you know, I hope that we could be in the Matrix and like, you try to, tr you, you know, you sit there one day at work and you're bored out of your mind and you're like, if I'm in the Matrix, I'm going to, like, make my super superpowers transgress. Like, and it never okay. happened. It never, never happened. happened. No. Okay. <clears throat> so we got excited last time. We didn't actually read She just totally glazes there. over these things that I say all the time. I wasn't listening. Yeah. Sorry. Um, we search the world each month for the best yums to bring to you. We often stumble on smaller finds that are big on crazy flavor, but small inside. This bag is loaded with those discoveries. They sell fruit stripe at the dollar store. <laughs> I was there the other day uh, picking up batteries. But no, the like flavor that. is gone. It's like you yeah, put it in your mouth and it just But I hadn't seen fruit stripe in forever. And then I started at the dollar store. And I'm like, yeah, I'd buy that for a dollar. because. Okay, so we got two different things. We got a couple of each of them. So here's one for you, one for me. Okay. So this is pomegranate flavored jelly candy. It's frugelli. 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 Why do we sound Italian? We're in Greece. Opa! <laughs> oh, okay. It's that sugar dusted okay, jelly. It's, it's gummy jelly. Yeah, I think we've all, we've all had this sort of stuff before. And it's pomegranate. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is delicious. That's delicious. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's a nice palate cleanser. It kind of melts away pretty nicely, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not as good as my palate cleanser, but it's a good Well, like, it disappears really fast. Mm -hmm. You don't even really need to chew it. Yeah, it dissipates really quickly. Yeah. Those are yummy. Okay, we have another one. Well, oh, this is what I picked up first. Uh, this is this toffee. Is almond toffee. You might have to suck on this. Yeah. It, it seems kind of caramely. It's very sticky. Oh my god. Oh. oh, it's like Oh, I mean it's, it's just, like caramel. Yeah, it it's it's just gooey paste. I got gum on me. <laughs> gum. gum. If you know what that's from, then we can be friends. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Not okay, bad. Oh 
Oh, hi, Emma. Thanks for joining us. Hi, honey. Um, this is like... It's, it's, it won't go away. It's an ever, it's a gooey everlasting gobstopper. This could kill me in my sleep. Yeah. It's like venom. You know how like venom is when he's like symbiote and he's like flowing around and he's like, in his like drippy way, you know? I feel like I've got almond flavored symbiote in my mouth. <laughs> it's like, it's well, delicious. good night everybody. <laughs> I've got almond flavored symbiote in my mouth. It's it's actually really good. It's very creamy. It's very milky, like caramel. But it just kind of sticks with you. It it, it just kind of. I think some people would like that, but I'm impatient. I've got ADHD. I don't have time to stay here with this in my mouth forever. I got things to do. Don't get out of my teeth. Yeah, it was it was a um, almond flavored toffee. Was what it was, yeah. But it wasn't like the toffee we know where it's crunchy. It's not the crunchy, yeah, sort of toffee. It was the. the... I want these things again. So this uh, Turkish delight stuff. This, I it's, think it's, it's prickly pear. I think it might be in the lead a little bit. I think so. The two, the two items that you and I were complete opposites on, was this disgusting peanut butter corn thing that you like. And you like these uh, grape balls, grape grape the, must. Grape must. Mm -hmm. Grape must is good. Is I, it, um... I don't know what you're thinking about these though. Give it another try. No, it's terrible. I already, it's 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 like really bad gingerbread. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just give it it another smells try. like alcohol. Give it another try. It doesn't. No, I have it too doesn't. Much pleasant taste in my mouth. I don't want to smell it. Smells like it with Alpo. That stuff. Oh, okay. Well, um, that was something. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was um, I don't know, like grease. Grease was more difficult than I thought they. These really. guys were a huge mess. They were delicious though. Like afterwards, I will put on like that junky tank top, afterwards, and then I can get powdered sugar yes. everywhere. I'm afterwards, okay. when I'm not on stream, I will take a bite out of it and all the powder it, sugar get up on my mustache. That's fine. Um, but I liked the little chocolate wafer thing a lot. It was good. I thought that was really yummy, yeah. and I actually I really like these. I've been uh, snacking on these throughout the whole chips. time. Yeah. These are good. I like I, the garlic. I mean, it was a good box, but it was definitely not flavors I was expecting. The garlic bagel, I mean, it's exactly what you would expect. I think we've all had something like this at some point in time. Um, you know, we've had the the frosted jelly candies Those before. are good. I um, would totally fill a candy dish with yeah. those. Those are delicious. Yeah. The baklava, what did you think? Uh, the baklava. So, okay, so the flavor was delicious. I'm right. Uh, but the execution, it was not executed well. the execution of it was a disaster. It was, it was messy. They even was, tried to contain it by putting it in its own little cup and there was just honey everywhere. Yeah. As soon as she opened up the wrapper, it just like leaked out everywhere. Yeah. It was and, difficult, but it was tasty. It was good. And, and it I mean, was hard to eat. Though. I had, I, I, I was not fully that. prepared because the, the baklava that I've had in the past, you know, it's flaky and crispy and you can cut it like with a, a fork. Like a and, yeah. No, not this. this this i had to like really grip my teeth through it and rip it i ripped it i couldn't even chomp through it I Such ripped a it man ripped it in half yes rip the baklava i could feel the testosterone wave coming off. Ah! oh yes baklava it was good it's awesome <laughs> i love you but uh this turkish delight stuff it's prickly pear delight P prickly pear delight not bad not bad at all. Who in Narnia would eat the prickly pear delight? This is like what Mr. Tumnus would have. Yeah. Is it hot, Mr. Tumnus? Because I would, I would. Be okay with that. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Did James McAvoy you, turn this? Do you remember the uh, SNL skit where James McAvoy played Mr. Tumnus and all the women were kind of trying to get thirsty him? for him? Well, I would be right there with them. I would be me. So later on, we are going to go through this. We'll deliberate. And we're going to fill it out and give our grades and we'll post a picture on Instagram. So and be our, sure you are following us on our Instagram at TV Artworks. On our Facebook page. Um, you can follow our personal accounts if you like. Yeah. Mine is G Von Cupcake and Tim's is TV Artworks. When You can yeah. also check out his uh, wonderful artwork. Yeah. Come see us at Tampa Bay Comic Con. Tampa Bay Comic Con this, this weekend, guys. I am hyped for it. And if you guys are local or in the area, come say hi to us. If you see us, please come say hi. We would love to meet you. And listen, I'm not we just saying. Friends. I'm not just saying come see me. Just go to There's the a lot go to the con. There's so many yep. things going on there. 
Uh, so many things worthwhile checking out. So just, yep. just uh, cons are really great ways to support small business because some of these people, that's their side hustle is putting together these tables yeah. of these cons and drawing and following their passion. So you going to the cons and supporting them fuels their passion. You, you know, it's, it helps them to, it encourages them to do more. So if you can't buy something, Tell them what you think about it. Share it. You know, find out where their Instagram is and share it. You really will it, help them. It, it was a minor flex, but I think I think it curled its muscles a little bit more. <laughs> it tightened its bicep because yeah. it's always like this. It's always yeah. ready to go. Like my biceps are your mustache, right? So right. Like this. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you see how big my my muscles uh -huh. are? They're really really big. Right. So it's the same. So, so when you were young, I was like this. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Damn you, so, fine. Right. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, thank you, James. I certainly do appreciate it. Thank we you very much. Um, there's a Comic-Con going on in Springfield, Illinois. Ah, that's very cool. Very cool. Yeah, we're from St. Louis. We used to love going to the cons yep. up, up in the Midwest area. But uh, yeah, so you can always uh, check out more of my stuff over at tvartworks.com as well. Absolutely. And uh, I think we're going to get out of here for the night. Um, you give guys, us a thumbs up, guys. Give us a thumbs up Thank on the you video. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Yeah, you know, it always, it always means the world that you would take a little bit of time, especially on your Monday nights. It we made our Monday we nights. We do this on Monday night mm -hmm. to help make your Mondays a little bit better, and you guys in return uh, you really, really, do. really do it for us. You make well. our Monday. This is the best thing that happened to us tonight. Yeah. With <laughs> yeah, it really is. It, it's the best. And we love you so much. And we're so grateful for all of your support, your likes and your shares. It just means the world to us. Yeah. You guys are all awesome. We're just, we're just so grateful for yeah. you. Thank you. And uh, once again, hit us up on our social medias. We love Absolutely. chatting with you guys all the time. We'll talk to you. Definitely. All right. So I guess uh, we'll be back next Monday with something we're gonna do something gonna i don't know what something. we're gonna do we have all kinds of stuff going on we've yeah. got so many things in the books it's basically when we decide on monday morning what do we want to do i don't know let's do this sounds good yeah right all right all the sugar do you hear how too I fast know, i know i know i know <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna, gonna have to take you out in the backyard and hose you down for a while we're gonna go do some you know what i want to do i want to put on like some kitten play and like dance i'm gonna do like with the roger rabbit dance i never could do it before but today isn't, isn't that the word you kind of kick your legs while you're doing <laughs> you that? know it's great is that we're just sitting here and, and we're like doing the roger rabbit and these poor people have to watch us yeah. act a fool all right guys all right guys we'll get out of here we love you you guys have bye. a good night bye bye